morning astronomy students this is Mr. Stockbridge coming to you live from my backyard our topic today is not the bees on the left it is not the surviving chickens in the center our topic today is how to use a star wheel now I wanted to show you one thing real quick this is an example of a star wheel that you can buy from the store um, it has the viewing window it has a few extra things that ours does not have on it. It spins nicely. It's all one piece. It's not going to fall apart on you. Um, you do have to get these specific to your location. For example, we all live between 30 degrees and 40 degrees north of the equator, so this will work. But if you go up to, say, Canada, chances are this isn't going to do it for you. Now, for the star wheel that you have been using, that you created in as your lab activity this week. It'll look something like this. This is your viewing window. Basically those are the stars that are above the horizon that you can see depending on how cloudy it is. Um, now in order to set the star wheel for the time and date that you're going to be going out and looking, take a look up at the top here. Here we have all the different times and then along the edge of the disk you have all the different dates. Now say we want to go out and we want to know what the sky looks like on, I'll just pick a date, so mid-September, let's go September 15th at 9 p.m. Well, we're going to find 9 p.m., we're going to find September 15th, and we're just going to spin the disk. until they line up and just kind of tidy it up here. So this is what I should be able to see in the sky. These are the different constellations. Now, this doesn't necessarily tell me where I need to be looking. Along the edge here you've got western horizon, southern, northern, eastern over here. In order to know where exactly the constellations are, you need to line these up. Now, what you see back here past the chickens, the reason I picked this view, is because back behind them that's the western horizon that's where the sun is going to set each day that's where the moon's going to set that's where the stars are going to set in order to know what constellations i can expect to see over there i'm going to take my star wheel and if that's the western horizon then i need to align my star wheel so that that's the western horizon so here this is how i'd hold the star wheel if i'm lo looking west these are the constellations that are going to be down low near the horizon. These are the constellations that are going to be up higher in the sky. This point right here in the middle of your viewing window, doesn't matter what date you have it set for, the point right in the middle is zenith. That means you're looking directly up. And just remember that whatever direction you are facing, you're going to have to hold your star wheel that way. So again, here I am looking west. I'll be able to see basically this stuff just by looking straight ahead. But once I get up into here, this is now actually all stuff that's behind me working back towards the east. So that's the basics of how to use a star wheel. There are a couple things that we will go into more detail about next time, next week, as we get into planetary motion. However, for basic finding of the constellations and getting to know your way around the night sky, this will do a lot towards helping you towards that goal. Thanks guys, I will see you soon.